A park, square in shape, has a 3 meter wide road inside it running along its sides. The area occupied by the road is 1764 square meters. What is the perimeter along the outer edge of the road? So you have a situation like this. The area enclosed by this red square is the park and the shaded region is the road which is of 3 meters wide and it is running along the sides of this park and you have been given the area of this shaded region and that's 1764 meters square. Now you have been asked what is the perimeter along the outer edge of the road. That means the perimeter of this red square. Okay, so let us assume that the side of inner square is S. So the side of the outer square will be S plus 6, isn't it? We have 3 meters on both the sides, so this will be S plus 6. Okay, now the area of the outer square minus the area of the inner square will give you this area of the shaded region. So I have S plus 6 whole square minus S square will be equals to 1764. Okay, let us solve this. S square plus 2 times S times 6 that's 12 S plus 6 square that's 36 minus s square is equals to 1764. This s square and this s square gets cancelled out. What remains is 12 s is equals to 1764 minus 36. So 12 s is equal to 1728. So s is equals to 1728 divided by 12 and that is equals to 144. So this is the side of this inner square. Side of the outer square will be 144 plus 6 and that's 150. So 150 is the side of the outer square and you need the perimeter of the outer square. So perimeter is equal to 4 times the side of a square. So this is 4 times 150 and that is 600 meters. So we have the answer as option B. A man walked diagonally across a square lot. Approximately what was the percentage saved by not walking along the edges? So this is the diagrammatic representation of our question. We have a square lot and a man starts from here. right? and he goes diagonally across. Now if this man had to travel along the edges he would have traveled like this. Okay. Now let us assume that if this man walks along the edges he walks let's say 100 kilometers. So the distance traveled along the edges we have assumed as 100 units. Okay. So as this complete distance is 100 units, the half of it will be 50 units. So the man travels 50 units horizontally and 50 units vertically. Now let us calculate how much distance he travels when he walks diagonally. Let this be x. Now as this is a square, this will be a right angle triangle, this one. So we can apply Pythagoras theorem. So we have x square is equal to 50 square plus 50 square. So therefore x square is equal to 2500 plus 2500. And that will be equal to x square is equal to 25 plus 25 is 50 and this 100. So 5000. So therefore x is equal to under root of 5000. And this will be equals to 70.71 if you solve it. Now you can write 70.71 as approximately 70. Okay. Now you have been asked what was the percentage saved. Now we can call it percentage because we took the base value as 100. Now what was the percentage saved? To calculate that we will have to subtract 70 from 100. So 100 minus 70 and that is equal to 30% was saved. Okay. If had he traveled along the edges, he would have traveled 100 kilometers, but he traveled diagonally. So he traveled only 70 kilometers. 
so he saved 30 kilometers so in our context he saved 30 percent so option c is the correct answer the area of a square field is 69,696 square centimeter what is the length of its diagonal so this is your square let us say that it has side s what will be the length of the diagonal well this being a right angle triangle you can apply Pythagoras theorem so s square plus s square taken under root so the diagonal will be under root of s square plus s square and that's root 2 s square right so in other words I can say root 2 s as the diagonal now you have been given the area area is equals to side square so side square is equals to 69696 six, right you have the value of s square diagonal is equals to root 2 s square right so this will be root of 2 into 69696 six, six, right so you can split this up root 2 times root 69696 six, six. so this is equals to under root 2 is 1.414 times if you calculate the under root of 69696 six, six, you will get it as 264 right so 1.414 times 264 and that is 373.296 if you calculate and this will be in centimeters okay so the length of the diagonal we have found out option C is the correct answer if the ratio of areas of two squares is 225 is to 256 then what is the ratio of their perimeters well you have been given the ratio of the areas so I can write a1 by a2 is equal to 225 by 256 now what is the formula for the area of a square and that is side square so I can write s1 square by s2 square is equal to 225 by 256 taking under root on both the sides I get this okay now under root of s1 square is s1 under root of s2 square is s2 so s1 by s2 is equal to root 225 that's 15 upon root 256 that's 16 this is one thing we have found out now we have been asked what is the ratio of their perimeters so p1 by p2 what is the formula for the perimeter of a square that is 4 times the side so for p1 we have 4 times s1 upon for p2 we have 4 times s2 so this gets cancelled out this is basically s1 by s2 and that is 15 by 16 so the ratio is 15 is to 16 isn't it so option c is the correct answer